food, festivals, plenty of fun, and they're in full bloom right now in New Orleans. Yes, let's welcome America's renowned Cajun fiddle queen, Amanda Shaw, and New Orleans tourism leader, Kelly Schultz. They're getting us ready for the 40th annual French Quarter Festival. Oh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So, hey, great to see you. Welcome to the show. And what can people expect at this year's French Quarter Festival? Well, this is the 40th anniversary of the French Quarter Festival, which is amazing. So you can expect over 20 music stages, 1,700 musicians, all within less than a half a mile area here in the beautiful French Quarter. So Amanda and I are at Jackson Square, absolutely beautiful weather, great food. You know, we love the music, but the food is also fantastic. Yes, it is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sounds great. So, hey. As a musician performing at this weekend's French Quarter Festival, how does this rank among the other big festival events you do? Oh my gosh, it is so much fun. I've been performing at this festival since I was a teenager, so it's something I look forward to every single year. The crowds get even bigger and more fun every single year, and I love seeing local people. I love seeing visitors. At this point, I have fans that come from all over and look forward to this performance every year from me and my band, and it's just it's always just a really great time. Yeah, Amanda, you fit right in there in New Orleans. A lot of fun, great music, and let's get to Kelly here. Now, how is the history and culture of the French Quarter celebrated uh, this weekend at the festival? <laughs> Well, French Quarter Fest, I think, represents the best of New Orleans culture. So you have amazing musicians like Amanda, all different types of music. Our people are out there enjoying life. We have beautiful architecture, food. You know, we really are just a cultural capital of America, we believe. So French Quarter Fest is just a beautiful time to come. And again, there are 20 stages in less than a half a mile area. So you can find any type of music you can imagine, stroll around from stage to stage. It really is just the best of New Orleans culture. We're right next to Cafe Du Monde right now. We can smell the beignets. Yes, and the coffee. So <laughs> it's, a, it's a wonderful experience. And I love, love that Orleans. you can walk out of your hotel and there's yeah. instantly stuff to do for French Quarter Festival. Like that's one of the things that makes this particular festival really special. But every single one of our festivals is special because it celebrates something unique about our culture and there is so much to celebrate here in New Orleans. Yeah, it sounds like so much fun. The good thing is, you know, the first coast is not too far away, so I'm, I'm ready to pack my car right now. Uh, Amanda, let's get back to you. We're talking about your wonderful music, and why is infusing that local culture so important to you? Come on. You know, culture is such an important thing to celebrate. We're full of so many unique cultures here in Louisiana. We have everything from like Cajun music and culture and food. We have jazz music, we have brass bands. We have so many different things and we're a city that loves tradition. And it's so important to celebrate the things that we've done well in the past and to continue to birth more new brand new things for the world to celebrate. And we're really good at doing that and celebrating that through our music, through our food. And so it's really important to me as a, as a fiddle player and as a songwriter to continue to celebrate those things through my music. That's awesome. Hey, hey, and hey, Kelly, this is just the first event of so many fun events in New Orleans. Uh, what can music and food lovers expect as we get through the rest of the spring and the summer in the Big Easy? Well, like you said, Jacksonville is not very far away, so you can definitely plan a trip for French Quarter Fest this weekend. And then we also, we, you know, spring festival season is well underway, so we have the iconic Jazz and Heritage Festival. This summer is the Essence Festival of Culture. We go to Satchmo Fest, Fried Chicken Fest. There's a festival for beignets and tomatoes everything. and everything you can imagine. <laughs> so there is always something. You can go to neworleans.com for a full list and, and there's always a great reason to come and visit New Orleans. Look, I heard y'all got a little bit of rain this week and we've got sunshine right yeah. now. So you should just get in the car and come on over right now. We'd be happy to welcome you. That's right. All right, Amanda Kelly, I'll meet you at the beignet stand. I'll, we'll have some food together and a lot of fun. I appreciate being on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks Thank so you. much. Bye. Yes, and of course, you can head to our website for much more on this. Yes, that's firstcoastliving.net.